All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive-thru. Love this problem. Special shout out to the Harpers, mostly Charlie, but we'll, Lena was just fine too, and your folks. Um, how do you measure distance between any two things? Yeah, it's got to be at a perpendicular. Okay. Otherwise, I could I could take my distance from my head and travel it down to the floor way over there, and it would say that I was like 17 feet tall. So you just you had to come up with a uniform way to measure distance, and that's what they did. So f we'll start by just graphing these two lines. Charlie, what's um, how are these two lines related to each other? They are parallel. Just keeping it old school with the straight edge. Oh no, that's bad. They do not look that parallel. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so it gives us a hint. Start by choosing a convenient point on the lines. So I'll pick this one. As we stated in our little discussion in the opening, we have to find a perpendicular to measure distance. So I'm just going to draw this line. And now, Charlie, I want you to tell me what the plan is going to be. Oh, well, hold on. I, we chose a convenient point, so we should be able to name the equation of this black line right now. What's the slope of the black line? Because it's perpendicular to the red one. Negative one half. Excellent. And what's the y-intercept? It's right there. So what is that equation? Yeah. Okay, now, we want to find the distance between that point and what? This point, which is probably going to require the distance formula. But before we can find the distance formula, what do we have to find? The other point. So, walk me through it. We have that line. There you go. Set them equal to each other. Uh, yep. Whoa. Ne okay, what's 4 divided by 2.5? Can somebody do that? 1.6 repeating? 8 over 5. Thank you, Bethany. I get it now. All right, 1.6. Negative 1. Yeah, of course. Thank you. So x is negative 1.6. And um, I'll just plug it into the blue one. So then y is going to be negative 3.2 plus 7. So is that 3.8? All right. What? And now we got to do some math. I'm going to abbreviate this a little bit. Negative uh, 1.6 squared. Ben, can you get that for me? Yeah. Maya's got it in her head. Okay. And let's see. 0.8 squared is 0.64? That's not right. How is this 3 and that's 3.8? Do we do that right? It doesn't look right. Okay. 
because this looks like it's significantly higher than 3.8. Three point eight. Yep, you're right. You're right. Okay. So it's right. It is 0 0.8 squared, which is 0 0.64. I'll keep it like the other one. All right, Ben. So square root of. Oh, look at this. It's going to be a nice, easy number, isn't it? What is that? No, it's just 3.1, 3.2. What's the square root of three point two, Ben? Something ugly? Yeah. Very ugly. One point seven eight 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 uh five four three eight eight. Okay. Let me pause this.